Hello and welcome to this episode of I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, where today I'm going to be talking about how your kids just don't listen to you. So the big question is this, how are parents like us, who don't have a manual, who are doing the best we can, who feel as though we aren't enough, how are we going to raise healthy, happy children who we are proud of and still keep our sanity in that process? That's the question, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Ryan Roy, and welcome to I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, a podcast for parents who are being real with themselves. Hello, and welcome back to this episode of I Don't Know Jack About Parenting, where today I'm going to be talking about how your kids just don't listen to you. And, you know, the thing that brought this up for me is having an eight-year-old and a two-year-old. The two-year-old listens and absorbs everything. I know it's interesting that parents always say, well, they don't know what you're saying to them. Why are you saying that? These kids know way more than most of us give them credit for. So, for instance, and I'm just going to tell you, kids don't listen because you don't give them credit enough to be able to listen. If they hear you say, listen to this, oh, they don't understand, they're going to act like they don't understand. You want to know why? Because you gave them permission not to understand. And even if they did understand, they may just pretend if it's in their best interest. Doesn't matter what age they are, in my opinion, they are smarter than you think. So... What came about for this? I've kind of bragged on this podcast how my two-year-old knows his ABCs, his one, two, threes, his colors. Not only can say them, but recognize them, uh, repeat them. Know the sounds of most letters. Um, to me, it's, I mean, I'm his dad and I'm thoroughly impressed and shocked that he knows this much more than his brother. But then, one of the lessons in my book, Be the Dad You Wish You Had, was to you know listen to your kids and to speak to them listen to this to speak to them as if they know already or if they're of age already because you don't know when they're going to be able to understand so we were at the pool the other day and taking his weekly swim lesson and there's all these activities we do at this point i'm pretty comfortable and he's comfortable that before the class starts, a couple minutes before, I have him jump in the pool on his own a few times and he goes under the water and and I decided it's always like one, two, three, jump. And I, was, and, and I just thought to myself, he's got this jumping thing down, he's excited, he goes on three. Let me see how much he really understands. And I said, Jaden, do me a favor, do daddy a favor. You gotta listen, you gotta listen, you're gonna listen. And he just, I said, we got to go on six. Daddy's going to count to six and then you could jump. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. And he, at, at five, he's starting to get a little antsy. Six, go. And then he jumps. And I thought on three, he would start getting a little antsy. Or on two, he'd start getting a little antsy. So he listened. And then I said, all right, great job. Let's do this again. You want to go again? And he says, more, more, more. And he does the sign language for more and then gets back up there. And I said, this time, we don't have to wait to six. We're going to go on two. And I said, you ready? And he's like, ready, daddy. I was like, one. And he's already starting to bend his knees, getting ready. I was like, two, go. And he jumps in. <coughs> but he's listening. You know, I share that because we have these opportunities to teach. We have these opportunities to test these skills. So I know that when I'm asking him to listen to things that he don't want to listen to, that he is actually comprehending. Why? Because he just explained it. He, he just demonstrated his ability to learn and to listen. I've shared with you in a previous podcast, and if you're new to the podcast, look, I don't know jack about parenting. I'm number one, recognize that I am no expert. I'm just a dad out here trying to figure it out just like you. Even the so-called experts, I'll tell you, I was reading a marital book one time, just off subject here real quick. I was reading a, a, a book on marriage from a marriage counselor. 
And he literally said in a chapter of his book, and he had been a marriage counselor his entire life. He goes, 38 years of marriage counseling and marriage, and this finally just clicked for me, right? Even the experts don't always get it until they get it. So I am no expert, but I do know some things that have worked for me, and that's why I try to share it. So back to listening. One of the listening skills that I do with him and I did with his his older brother, especially at this age where they're starting to be able to talk and enunciate and, and share all kinds of words. It's it's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna do more podcasts on on the, the two year old. Um but it's his ability to listen. So when we come out the door every single day and we're walking towards the car and we have, you know, uh, 30 yards from our doorstep to where the car is parked and I'll say, ooh, ooh, listen, listen, let's stop, let's stop. What do you hear? And he'll, shh, 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 shh. birds, daddy, birds. And then we live next to a train track. And sometimes we'll hear the train going, I hear choo choo, I hear the train. What else do you hear? And he's listening and I was like, and I may feed him, but now he's starting to say it. I hear the wind in the trees. I hear the leaves. I hear the acorns. Now the acorns are starting to fall off of the tree. I hear the acorns. One just hit daddy. And then they bounced down the driveway as we're on a slope. Like he's, but it's fun. And we're, we're acknowledging and we're paying attention and we're critically thinking. It's just not like, hey, I hear a car going down the road. I hear the airplane, daddy. Like, so he's looking in the sky. He's looking. We're, we're, we're practicing to be awareness in addition to listening. So look, I don't know Jack about parenting, but I know I want my kids to listen to me. And if I know I'm practicing their listening skills and I can literally through some fun things like jumping into the pool or listening for birds on the way out to the car or just being in the yard or, or being at the lake and tossing a rock in and seeing what'd you hear splash i heard a splash yes you heard a splash you heard a rock hitting the water if we can make listening fun i know we have a greater chance of them listening to us down the road on that note Hopefully you'll listen to the next episode. We'll see you soon. Do you want to be the dad you wish you had? If so, go get my free book, Be the Dad You Wish You Had at BeTheDadYouWishYouHad.com. Inside, you'll find my most effective 40 tips to quickly and easily transform yourself into the ideal dad. Go to BeTheDadYouWishYouHad.com now and get it while it's free.